boring, this is Jibo. Today we will uh, have a look of a very famous carburetor. The constant depression or constant speed carburetor being for the most of the BMW boxer models. And this is where the two carburetors come from. It's a BMW R65 1980 a Yamaha TT350 1986 where we got the second carburetor air goes uh, in from this side so it takes air for the from the plenum and there are four holes more than in the Venturi in addiction to the main section for the air in the Venturi there are four holes which we will explain lately. The air comes from the plenum and goes inside the cylinder from uh, this side and uh, in this side there is the butterfly throttle which is uh, actuated from this leverage here giving as well the minimum level of uh, RPM. Outside there is the choke as well here giving more fuel for the idle bottom there is the float chamber which gets the fuel from uh, these holes coming from the fuel reservoir of the motorcycle at the top there is a, a cover which protects the chamber with the diaphragm the principle of uh, functioning of these carburetors is a, a bit different from the simple Venturi one where the piston letting the main jade to uh, provide fuel to the main chamber to the vacuum chamber is uh, actuated by a wire in this case the vacuum piston is actuated by the airdrop coming through this chamber which is hidden by this cover so it's uh, not linear the functioning in terms of uh, uh, the answer of uh, the engine there is a kind of delay but the interesting thing is that a balance of forces in the piston gives back a situation where the uh, speed of the air and the pressure in the Venturi is constant whatever is the uh, RPM of uh, the engine this is due to a balance we will explain lately uncovering the float chamber we will get this uh, the float has been removed and uh, there is only the main jet which is this one uh, but the idle jet for the lower speeds is this one which is uh, uh, giving uh, the fuel in this side the idle jet is uh, this one and uh, this brings to a series of channels letting the fuel to come uh, in uh, the front part this is the main jet which provides the main chamber where there is the venturi before the butterfly throttle while the idle jet is this one and uh, the holes bring uh, the fuel in the, the front where the throttle covers partially them and uh, during the progression from the idling uh, phase to the uh, opening of the butterfly throttle provide uh, fuel with uh, these two small holes which you can see close to the throttle in between there is uh, uh, the mixing regulating screw which avoids uh, more or less fuel coming from the idle jet to the front holes which we can 
have a look of very close to the throttle. The chalk instead actuates in terms of giving more fuel through a bypass which bypasses the throttle and so uh, filling the vacuum directly from uh, the cylinder. And the chalk bypass is this one. There is a second phase, uh, 10 uh, more degrees of uh, uh, rotation of the butterfly throttle, where uh, some air mixture with fuel coming from the vacuum chamber uh, comes through the throttle and this is a, a cutaway from uh, uh, the, uh, the restriction. This is a cutaway through the butterfly throttle. But this is uh, only one fourth of uh, the uh, throttle opening. Uh, there is a, a third phase where uh, the needle, which is uh, this one, coming out from the main hole provides more fuel because of being tapered this way and the actuation of the piston up and down is due to the vacuum we will going to analyze when we open the top cap we will uh, get into a chamber which is sealed and uh, looking at the top of the diaphragm. So this is uh, a chamber which is equalized with uh, the vacuum chamber, the main vacuum chamber, the main venturi, because of some holes which are located in the piston these two holes. So the pressure above the diaphragm is the vacuum, the low pressure. But in the space left under the diaphragm there is another chamber which fills instead the external pressure thanks to this hole. So from this hole you can get the low chamber and so this uh, low chamber we will, will get the pressure from outside. So the diaphragm feels a difference of pressure from uh, the bottom and the top, which is uh, uh, the same difference of pressure from uh, the vacuum chamber due to the uh, action of the engine and outside. This uh, pressure, would not, it's not a drop because uh, it's just a difference, it's not uh, something which is re reducing the same uh, uh, space. Uh, pressure comes from uh, two different points, so it's not a drop, it's uh, just a difference, but it is uh, useful to actuate this piston and uh, uh, the balance of forces is uh, due to this spring. This spring is giving a kind of a preload to the system. So the forces which are in uh, uh, this balance are the weight of the pistons through downstairs, the pressure balance on this diaphragm and the load of the chamber. The system is uh, balanced in a way giving always the same depression, always the same difference of pressure between up and down, thanks to the masses and to the spring. So the airspeed through the Venturi is uh, always the same, whatever it is the vacuum on the chamber. It means that uh, the fuel, the pressure uh, pumping the fuel from the float chamber is always the same. So how we can uh, regulate 
using a system like this by tapering the needle. So this tapering allow the flow to be uh, partialized when the needle is down and to be maximum when the needle is up. So this is uh, the third phase uh, from one fourth uh, to halfway and uh, the regulation provided by the tapered needle actuates regulating in this phase. Afterwards when uh, the uh, needle is uh, up only the sides of uh, the main jet provides the amount of fuel needed. So this is a kind of uh, stable situation giving back uh, an increasing, uh, good increasing just when uh, the tapering of uh, the needle is uh, significant. This uh, alternation, so this sequence uh, of uh, four phases with uh, uh, the main interesting one being uh, the phase of uh, the uh, regulation by the tapering of uh, the needle gives back uh, uh, a behaving of the engine which gives uh, stability at the beginning and at the end but in the middle when uh, there is uh, the tapering effect of the needle uh, there is a progression so uh, the constant depression or constant speed carburetor helps the uh, behaving of the engine like uh, the modern uh, injection system usually do nowadays.